Well, my name is uh, Maris Kord. I'm the president and CEO of Warbridge Mining. Warbridge Mining has been uh, exploring and developing uh, the Fenelon Gold property that we purchased in late 2016 from a company named Balmoral Resources. Since the uh, purchase of the property, we have continued to demonstrate that this property has a uh, multi-million ounce potential. Last year, we acquired Balmoral Resources and we now control over 90 kilometer stretch of this underexplored belt in Quebec, Canada. So let me tell you in terms of investment criteria about Walbridge and why we tick the boxes. In our industry, there are certain criteria that people look for. One is the property itself. One is the jurisdiction, track record of management, access to capital, and those are some of the uh, some of the criteria that I just mentioned. So let me talk about some of those. Property itself, as I mentioned, we've so far demonstrated the multi-million ounce potential. We expect to come up with our first resource estimate by the third quarter of this year. Not only do we have this potential, more, more importantly, with the acquisition of Balmoral, we now have this organic growth along this entire 90 kilometer stretch which is a district scale type of a property to be able to add to the current estimate on the properties. So, so we take the box in terms of the property. Jurisdiction is important because we're not in the middle of the Africa or in the middle of the Andes. This is in Quebec, Canada, one of the top mining jurisdictions, mining friendly jurisdiction, good mining friendly uh, First Nation communities, skilled workforce, infrastructure. There's in fact a provincial road that goes right by our property. Hydropower is less than 20 kilometers to the property. And you can drive a sedan right to the open pit at our property. So in terms of jurisdiction, we certainly check the box. So let's talk about track record of management. We purchased this 10 square kilometer property in late 2016 for $3.5 million cash. Our market capitalization at the time was less than $5 million. Today, we're currently at about $500 million Canadian in terms of market cap. We've already got two discoveries on that property. More importantly, we acquired over 900 square kilometers along this belt from Balmoral Resources acquisition. So we believe we ticked the box on that as well. In terms of access to capital, we've continued to be able to, uh, to raise the funds in order to advance the projects. And with the successful exploration programs, we've been making sure that we also have attracted strategic shareholders. We do have Eric Sprott, who's a well-known gold, gold bug who, is, who now owns 21% uh, of the company, as well as Kirkland Lake Gold, one of the top gold producers. And they also own 9.9% .9 of the company. And there is about 10 to 12% holdings by the uh, in, uh, institutional shareholders that are currently part of our shareholder list in Walbridge. So in terms of our exploration program, we have a very aggressive exploration program this year. We have over 170,000 meters of drilling planned this year, which the majority of that drilling will be focusing on the Fenelon property itself and continuing to not only infill the areas, but more importantly, expand those mineralized zones at Fenelon in order to come up with our maiden resource or initial resource estimate by the third quarter of this year. About 10 to 15% of our drilling this year will be focusing on the regional exploration. As I mentioned, we have this 90 kilometer stretch of the, this underexplored belt, which has shown large gold systems, as it's evident from Kirkland Lake Gold's D2 Lake Mine on the western side of this belt, and all the way to our Fenelon, uh, which, which we have demonstrated the large gold system, and in between the Martinier gold system that was actually discovered by Balmoral, which we now own. So you can see the organic growth potential as well, and that's one of the reasons we want to devote some of our drilling this year towards that regional exploration in order to uh, create more value for our shareholders. So in terms of additional work that we're planning to do this year, we understand that these projects need to be de-risked as we continue to advance them. So as such, what we decided to do is also go underground from, from, the, from the surface access in order to get right to these areas and, and see the geology and map them out and be able to understand these so, so we can advance these with a more de-risked uh, point of view. So, so those are our plans for this year. So as I mentioned, uh, you know, with, with, the, with the supportive shareholders and the, uh, the uh, current cash balance that we have, we see that there is a lot of potential for growth within the company as well. Today, we uh, have over $85 million uh, cash in the treasury. 
And our program this year, it's very aggressive and it's about the $75 million exploration and development program. But what's more important about the fact that there are some refundable tax credits when you spend a dollar in Quebec, you typically get about 30% of that back as an incentive for exploration in Quebec, which is very attractive uh, in terms of uh, you know, advancing projects in this region. So, so we expect about six to $10 million cash also be brought in this year in terms of our 2018 and 2019 exploration programs. So I went through the criteria that are important in our industry for investment. Property, we checked the box in terms of being able to demonstrate the multi-million ounce potential as well as organic growth along this entire underexplored belt, which has shown several large gold systems. We are in Quebec in terms of jurisdiction is one of the best uh, mining jurisdictions in the world. In terms of strategic and supportive shareholders, we have Eric Sprott, who owns more than 21% of the company, as well as Curtin Lake Gold, who owns 9.9% of the company and also have a property and an operating mine along the same belt as we operate. And more importantly, we have this exploration program that is very aggressive. However, it's going to come up with the initial resource estimate by the third quarter of this year. And then we continue to advance the project in order to demonstrate the growth of this potential property that we have. So I wanna thank you for taking the time to listen to the Walbridge's story. For your information, Walbridge trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange under the symbol WM. And we also trade on the OTC in the US under the symbol WLBMF. Thank you. <laughs>